This week has been one of those weeks that all resellers dream about. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Press, and today is episode five of the $500,000 Amazon FBA resell challenge. We have not hit a thousand dollar day yet. I know that day is coming, we just need more product. And that's why this week has been one of those weeks that are just nuts, absolutely nuts. So this episode is gonna cover a lot. It's gonna cover what we picked up just this last week. Make sure to stay to the end of the episode because I'm gonna show you how I source online, but let's get started. You know the old saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I decided to stick with what works and headed back to Adidas for sourcing. This run turned out to be one of my biggest yet. I hit up the store back to back days and scored a whopping 143 pairs of shoes. The minimum profit on each pair, $25. And this was just the beginning. Things are about to get even better. Amazon FBA is a site where there is a plethora of products for you to sell. There are niches that some people sell and some people do not touch. I built this cheat sheet for new Amazon resellers. This is kind of every single category, so you can try to find your niche. If you find a product with a good profit margin in this, and in between these numbers and number one, you buy it, it will sell. There are some products that take a little bit longer to sell. The higher sales rank stuff doesn't sell as often. With your Amazon business, you'll figure out extremely quickly what you wanna sell, whether that's consumable products that have higher margins or grocery that has a little bit less margins or a combo of both. Personally, for me, I do everything and anything I can find that has margins, that sells decently, I don't discriminate. <laughs> I just wanted to make this, put this clip in, one to give you this cheat sheet. I'll have a downloadable link through like Google Drive or something that pause the video, take a screenshot and save this because this is a extremely helpful tool, especially if you don't have a third party app to help you pick which products to actually buy. So hopefully that helps. Today's the first day of the additional 50% off at Kohl's. We're here at nine o'clock. Absolutely no one is here. These are all workers, I checked. Well, okay, that's a little strange. I, I didn't like go up to the car and like knock. I just drove by, I drove in that way, okay? I'm not that guy, I'm not that guy. But we're the only one here. Um, I'm pretty damn excited. Kohl's sales are always the best. I know we only get singles when it comes to products, but it should be okay. I'm very excited. Um, so let's get in there. Kohl's opens actually in four minutes. So we're gonna get in there in a couple minutes and we're gonna see how we can do. Okay, so just got out of the first Kohl's, was very successful, 28 pairs, $615. Not too bad at all. You can see the back, we are darn full. Adidas, Converse, Nike, all of those things. So this is probably my favorite find of it. This is some Bakugan. I can't believe that, you know, Bakugan's still a thing. This was when I was a kid. So this, you can see on here, was 367. So that means they were like $1.80. So two bucks after tax, they sell on Amazon for 20. I only found five of these, which I'm kind of mad about. I wish I could find more. Hopefully we'll find more at the next one, but they don't sell that often. They only sell like three units a month, but we'll make almost $16. So I'm not complaining at all. This is an insane ROI right here. So for one little, little toy, they're paying 20 bucks, but insane. We are at Kohl's number two, it is 1040, and there's a lot of people here. Uh, <laughs> shoot. Okay, so I just found these tins, Timberlands. Work foods. I've already started to collect them all, but um, I gotta buy all of these because they make insane profits. At least 50 bucks or more. So we're at our final Kohl's now. I had to go home, switch trucks, because we were completely full. Uh, it's just one of those days that 
you know, you dream about. Like, this is not a normal thing that happens. Oh, dude, I have so much work ahead of me. This week has been just absolutely insane. Probably 250 plus pairs of shoes and price per is actually really freaking good. So we're gonna get into here. I'm gonna cash out once again. We're gonna make some money. Actually, it looks like they've placed theirs in funny positions. So we're gonna have to walk aisle by aisle, which isn't a bad thing, but. What can I say about today? It was just one of those days that all resellers honestly, honestly dream about spending as much as possible buying every single item you can, being the first one in the door and absolutely going ham. I, I feel like that, that sums up kind of what we did. So in total for this week, because I, I want to include what we did at Adidas and also Kohl's, we did over 200 in 10 pairs. I'm not including the items, the Hot Wheels, any, and the Lego, anything like that. This is all Hot Wheels right here. Anything like that, but it was just insane. Look at this. So these Timberland boots were one of the last things we found and we did quite well on them. Timberland, I wasn't 100% sure I was engaged in and for whatever reason I was, which is very nice. We paid $47 after tax for these guys and they will sell on Amazon for about 150 and profit like 60 to 70 bucks. But I think I'm gonna hold these until actual Christmas time. Sales rank picks up, price picks up a little bit. They sell a lot faster. And I think that's just the way to go. We found a lot of Nike and Adidas things are great. They're singles, but that's totally fine. We're making 30, 40 bucks on them. Um, and then all of the Adidas stuff from the other day, there's plenty of it. I'm gonna show you some of the like Lego pieces, these Bakugans, I think we talked about these, pretty damn sick. This, uh, is this Mulan? Or just Disney princesses in general? This makes like 15. These Hot Wheels monster truck guys make about 10. They sell about 30 units a month, but that should pick up during Christmas for sure, or they should all sell during Christmas. A uh, couple clothing items, but for the most part, the thing I'm very excited about are the golf cleats that showed up. They all came. Oh wait, we haven't talked about those yet. Let's cut to that clip. So there's really two ways on how to start sourcing products. One is reverse searching. So you go to a TJ Maxx or an Adidas outlet or somewhere and find a product that has a potential to do some numbers. Let me see if I have one uh, behind us. Yes, I do. Okay, so I picked these up a while ago. These are uh, Nordic wear, bunt pan steels. I don't know, just a pan that we got for about 15 bucks and they're gonna sell online for over 30. So we'll make, you know, six or $7 profit. So let's see if we can go online and this is, uh, and see if we can find a similar pan. Nordic wear pan. So this is just like a super, super general search. Like I, I'm not even looking for specifics yet or anything like that. I'm going general and kind of seeing what websites have cheap prices. So like, look at this one, for instance, we got the Nordic wear, just whatever, small pan on Nordic wear for $8. And then if you go to Walmart, they're $6. So if you just reverse search your items or just kind of general search the products that you're ungated in, then you can start to find different items. The second is going to your main websites, going to adidas.com, nike.com, Walmart, all of those things, and going through every single product individually, Sam's Club, Costco, those websites. So we can do both. I think we should do Adidas because Adidas always has insane sales. And I know pretty much all I sell, 99% of the stuff we sell right now is Adidas, but there's a, there's a reason behind it. Because one, the items are super cheap, they sell very quickly online, and they make great profit margins. So let's see if we can do a little searching and see if we can find a product that potentially makes some money. Alrighty, so I actually have found our first product. <laughs> it doesn't usually happen that fast at all. 
it is usually a grind and it takes a heck of a long time to find something. So I was just on their sales site, whatever, what's on sale, back to school, whatever. They do sales all the time. And I found these golf replacement cleats, okay? If you guys know anything about golf, you can take your golf shoes and replace the plastic spikes on the bottom of them. Search it on the seller amp or Amazon, you can see the product. It sells 200 units a month. It's gonna cost 1083 per unit and we're gonna profit 693. I'm gonna be able to get this price down slightly using the coupons that you can purchase with your points on Adidas. And that's another thing that you need to utilize when doing Amazon is trying to find coupon codes. Use Rakuten. If you guys aren't signed up with Rakuten, I've got a link down below. You get 30 bucks, I get 30 bucks. Not a sponsor, but it is the greatest cashback ever. So we're gonna get 8% back on Rakuten right now, which is huge. So that's eight, pretty much $8 in order because they're only limiting us to 15 per. So I'm gonna check out as many times as I can before this thing is sold out. Um, because just off of retail alone, before the discounts, we're gonna make 693, selling 200 units a month. It has insane numbers. It's got four and a half stars with over a thousand reviews. So that means this thing sells units. It sells units. Let's see kind of how price has been looking for the last year. Um, pretty darn consistent at $24.99. $25.99, $25.99. That's exactly where we need to be. Let's see how many sellers are on there right now. We've got two, okay? One has 43 stock, one has 10 stock, and this is a big seller. They have over a thousand reviews. That's another key tip. If you see a seller that has a lot of reviews, that means that product is a good seller or, you know, just they found it somewhere very cheap, okay? So those guys are usually pretty good at sourcing. All right, well, we're gonna cash out and see how many we can get from this, and uh, I'll check in with you guys here in a bit. Just got done buying as many Adidas cleats as they allowed me to before they were sold out. We got through with a total of 12 checkouts. 12, that's 180 units, which isn't too bad. Yes, the profit margins aren't insane. We're not making, you know, $15 a unit like some of the shoes and stuff, but if you take 183 units, and our minimum we're gonna make $7 pretty much, that's $1,260 of potential profit. So that's not too bad. I wish I could, could have checked out with more, but they ran out of stock. I just checked out as many times as I could, got as many coupons as I could, also made a couple new accounts, but don't tell Adidas that, um, to get an additional 15. Like, you do whatever you can, you know, you know what I'm saying, it's just like sneakers. We gotta do whatever we can, to get as cheap as we can products to continue to sell and make money. I think this was an in, insanely good find. This is just one of those days that you dream about, really. It really is. So uh, I also am gonna start weekly live streams. I haven't decided a day yet, but we're gonna do literally live sourcing online where you guys can come and sit with me and ask questions about how to do Amazon and all of that stuff. And we're gonna try to find products and spend some money. We're only 11 days into this month and we've already sold $6,000. Yeah, that's a really good start to this month. So I'm hoping this month is gonna be a very solid month. I think we're on pace to do about a $30,000 month. Hopefully some sales will start to increase. One more thing before we go, the Bent Go Kids that we were talking about last episode, have I fulfilled, uh, have I pursued and purchased more items? I have not. Uh, reason being, I'm still kind of tracking the progress on how that unit is doing. Is it worth it to spend 20 to make five? I don't know. I'm not super happy with those numbers yet and they haven't really shown me anything that was too promising. So I may just take the 10 we bought, send them in and see what happens. But by the time they get in, the sale will be over. But Sam's Club does sales often. If you guys are looking for, you know, more things to manually hunt for. Sam's Club, Costco are great, great sources to hunt for. I found a product last year that I think we sold $15,000 worth. It was a seven pound bag of uh, Bob's Red Mill Steel Cut Oats. Just, you know, bought it normal retail and it, they made like $8 a piece. So there's p potential profit everywhere. You never know what kind of prices or products will go out of stock and you can hop in and 
you know, fulfill and make the full top dollar that you can make. So, so for this week, I think our total estimated profit is going to be north of $4,000. I still need to crunch the numbers. Some of the stuff like the Tims we're holding on to, the golf shoes we have to get in immediately, some of the Christmas stuff. Uh, the Legos we're going to hold on to and all of those little things. Um, but there is a ton of work ahead of us. So how much we're going to profit to what we spent is not too bad. So total this week, we spent over $6,000, closer to the $6,000 mark, not the seven. Uh, don't have exact, exact numbers yet because this I'm trying to get this video as quickly as possible. So one you can run to Kohl's as well. We have so much work ahead of us, but thank you so much for watching this episode. Um, smash the like button, smash it, smash it, smash it, because we are going to get to that $500,000 in sales. I have no doubt in my mind now, because this has got to be at least $10,000 in product, at least, at least Amazon numbers wise, at least. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for all the support on this new challenge as well. We're just getting started and it's going to get good. Guys, everybody have a fantastic day, week of sourcing and making that money. And we will see you in the next episode.